Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel called Tours Excursion Vallarta. My name is Oscar. I'm your local guide here in Puerto Vallarta. This video, as you can see, it's, um, we're talking about the butterfly sanctuary here in Puerto Vallarta. Believe it, believe it or not, we have a, a butterfly sanctuary here in Puerto Vallarta. It's located in Puerto Vallarta, but it's not located on the tourist area. So you must travel around 15-20 minutes in Puerto Vallarta. It's more deep on neighborhoods Puerto Vallarta, but it's very easy access, okay? So stay with me in this video and give you more information about this amazing place and how you can support it as visit, okay? So, uh, but before, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, activate all the notifications, get the latest news here in Puerto Vallarta or Nuevo Nayarit. Remember, follow me on my social network, have more contact over there, more information and more videos about the activities and the tours, okay? And remember, if you want to support my work, please join as a sponsor. Just click on the button, join, okay? Thank you very much for your support. Well, uh, the Butterfly Sanctuary is located uh, very deep in Puerto Vallarta, as you can see. But it's not so far away. The Google Maps say that take you like 30, 36 minutes. It's not too much. Well, it's if there is a lot of traffic, yes. Uh, but it takes you like 20, 25 minutes in a car. And uh, it's it's not too far, really. 12 kilometers is not too far from Puerto Vallarta. Um, but my recommendation, if you go over there, uh, uh, use or wear some large pants and t-shirts that uh, cover all your arms because there is a lot of mosquitoes a lot of mosquitoes believe me they're gonna eat you alive so uh, but you can cover you or you can put your, your sunscreen uh, insect repellent something like that you can't because there is insect over there butterflies are insect so you can't use it just large pants remember and a t-shirt that covered your arms and that's okay uh, once that you arrive and in, in the near of the sanctuary is gonna be a path there is uh, just like two signs um, but you you need to pass uh, one signs there is a ranch you pass it uh, like it's behind the sanctuary it's very easy to find it uh, in this season, there is all greens, there is all rain, um, and the path could be banished because there is a lot of vegetation growing. Uh, but you can you can watch the sign and follow. It. And the entry, uh, you, you must to leave the car like I don't know, uh, 15 meters away from the path, and you need to go by walk. Remember, there is a lot of vegetation. Use large pants, okay? And once that you get there, there is the um, uh, people over there waiting for you to do the tour. The tour takes you like 40 minutes. Uh, it's very, very informative. Uh, the tour, uh, it's uh, on English and Spanish, okay? So for that part, it's okay. Um, they are very uh, knowledgeable about the butterflies. They are experts. The tours um, cost around 20 US dollars per person, okay? And it's worth it, take you like 40 minutes. You can take pictures, you can um, take videos, and it's amazing. There is a lot of information, uh, like uh, one that I, I like it, it's uh, the difference between the chrysalid and the, and the cocoons. Chrysalids are for butterflies, cocoon are for the moth. It's it's amazing, and uh, and you can hear how the butterflies do some uh, noise, like click, 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 click. They are fighting. They are clicking with their wings because they are fighting. It's amazing, and you can you can see a lot of um, uh, nice trees, plants, and ov obviously more insects like spiders big ones little ones <laughs> it's amazing but don't worry uh, the big ones um, they have they have no venom 
only the little ones <laughs> no don't worry about it and uh, it's very safe the tour uh, but it's hot it's hot because it's the rainy season the uh, people there told me that it's better to visit the the butterfly sanctuary in this rainy season because it's more green there is more food there is more plants for the butterflies so there is more butterfly and they are beautiful they have a laboratory and they can show you how the chrysalis is growing or how the caterpillar um, trans uh, the transformation of the caterpillar into the butterfly it's amazing and at the end of the tour you can release some butterfly and this have a reason <laughs> but before you guys release your butterflies if you would like you can actually give a name to your butterfly as well in addition to it I will actually tell you a little legend in Mexico indigenous people have believed that butterflies were very very spiritual and the reason behind it was that every time they will capture a butterfly and release it the butterfly will pretty much always tend to fly towards the light towards the sun well for that sun was the god the greater spirit and because butterflies cannot speak they cannot really talk they decided wow since butterflies have some kind of a connection with the greater spirit and the gods we can actually use them as a secret messengers so indigenous people will literally share their deepest wishes and desires with the butterflies release them in a hope that they will actually go and deliver the message all the way to the greater spirit you guys actually will be able to do the same today. Think of some kind of a deep desire or some kind of a wish or some kind of a dream that you might have. Remember, must be something um, very special from your heart. Don't ask for win the lottery, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. But if you wish something from your heart, uh, this is a good uh, idea to do it, to spoke to the, to the butterfly. And the, that is very nice, uh, it, it's happened at the end of the tour. And my recommendation for the schedule there from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. obviously is go in the morning. Uh, I don't know, 10 a.m., stay 10 a.m. and be the first in um, take the tours because it's hot. Later, it's going to be hotter and hotter. So, my recommend in a lot of humidity, my recommendation is arrive early and come back early. Uh, you can take this activity and in the night at 8 p.m., uh, the another activity on the total camp, baby total uh, release. This, that's my recommendation for you. These um, activities are great for kids or your family or for, for a family with kids that works great, amazing. They receive donations too, so it would be nice if you can add some donation, okay? Um, if you want to hire me for transportation of this tour, I'm available, go to my website or email me and I can help you and sketch you uh, this activity. And if you want the total release, um, uh, it's um, I, I can do the, the at the same day. Remember, just one activity is gonna be in the morning, the butterfly sanctuary, and another one is gonna be on the night, 8 p.m. So, email me and I can help you with that. Okay. So, uh, I, and remember, my tours are private and it's only for max four people. Okay. So. What do you think about this amazing activity here in Puerto Vallarta? So thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and to share this video if you like it or if you feel that it is very useful for your next activities or vacations here in Puerto Vallarta. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye.